Now we all know him as Snoop Dogg, some industry insiders, they call him Uncle Snoop, and for a short period of time he was Snoop Lion. Well that didn't stick, he's changed his name, we got all the details, I'm Michael McCrudden, this is IO. I still remember the good old days of Snoop Doggy Dog, oh dog. Man, this guy knows how to make a name and get it out there. Snoop Doggy Dog. Now Snoop Dogg was born Calvin Brodus. He got the name Snoop Dogg when his mother jokingly referred to him as the Peanuts character Snoopy. And from there it stuck, Snoop Dogg was born. Well he had already been born, it just like got a new name. Well Snoop Dogg now has a new funk persona and a collaboration going on with Damn Funk. And for that he decided he needed a new name, that being Snoopzilla. The partnership will call themselves Seven Days of Funk and will release an album under the same name. They've already got a track out called Fade In Away and it's really, really good. Snoopzilla had this to say about Damn Funk. Damn Funk is keeping it cold. He's keeping the funk alive and I knew I had to get down with him. That's my Snoop Dogg impersonation. Damon Riddick, who is Damn Funk, said on Twitter that they will be dropping the album on December 10th and that they recorded the whole thing in his bedroom. Can you imagine inviting Snoop Dogg into your bedroom? The place would be like a hot box. You couldn't get that smell out of your sheets. Now with a new name like Snoopzilla, you may think it's a tip of the hat to Godzilla with Snoop Dogg standing at six foot four inches. But as a matter of fact, this name has roots in funk. The name pays homage to Bootsy Collins, a funk bassist, who sometimes used the name Bootzilla. This is likely all for press and to push the new album, but I want to know what do you think? Did you like Snoop Lion? Are you into Snoopzilla? Or do you like it the old fashioned doggy style Snoop Dogg? We all know I'm a fan of Snoop Doggy Dogg! But I want to know what you like in the comments below.